Good morning. It's carrot harvesting day. This is the container carrots that I've been growing since I think April or May from seed. And I've done a couple of other videos with video checks. Um, this container does not get as much sun as the alley carrots did, which probably were picked about three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. So I don't really keep track. I just pull when they're ready. But um, I can tell from the plant color and I'm colorblind and I can still tell this is starting to uh, fade out to peel out so that means the plant part dying and the root the root is sucking the last of the life out of the plant so I, th I think it's uh, time to pull them <laughs> and um, the first thing I noticed in here when I picked this up was oh I thought it was a hummingbird feather which we've found before but it's just a leaf a different kind of leaf oh what a disappointment. Okay, let's pull some carrots. So these are seemed this one at least the first one. Um, although there's still plenty of room below where this carrot was. It's not as um, long as it could have grown. I don't know why that is. Let's see. Let's check some more. one's also short and curved a little bit. <laughs> you know what, they all taste the same no matter what shape they are, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I just find it kind of fascinating what plants do actually when left on their own. They all seem to have, this one was along the side, that this, uh, remember this container had a tapered side, so carrot that grew straight down then did totally curve inward because of the side of the container uh, ones that we picked earlier but so I'm just gonna keep pulling here and then we'll just kind of they all seem to have this little hook at the end I'm not sure I just had a plant break off well the carrots like way down <laughs> oh it's like a little ball <laughs> look at that <laughs> carrot ball. Now there is a carrot. Um, it's a French carrot and it is a round carrot. I have grown those before. They're great for containers too because they don't get very big and they're about that big and they're little round balls. So but, uh, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> That's not what these are supposed to look like. Let's see what else we got. Oh. They all seem to have kind of turned sideways even though there's not any um, plant breaking off again. Any container making them turn. So I don't really know why that is. It's kind of curious. Oh, here's one. Oh my gosh, this is like totally curved on itself too. This is really, I just, I find, I don't know. I should have been a scientist, I suppose, or just call me casual, amateur. Um, I find this fascinating. I do not know why. Why did it do this? That makes no sense. Weird. All right. Now I got to figure out. So it's the end of August. We're going to be heading into fall. Although in Southern California, it almost doesn't make too much of a difference because the weather here is so good most of the year. But I have to figure out what to put in this container again. So um, that's something I'm going to be thinking about. I am actually planning a trip to the nursery today because I got an email from them uh, about fall color. They got all the little flowers and everything like that. I have bulbs that I pulled from last year. When I wanted to grow vegetables, I pulled all my bulbs and I saved them. But I don't think I'm going to plant them until like November, because most of them are like uh, winter, winter bulbs. So, but um, I go to Armstrong Nursery. It is an employee-owned uh, company, and uh, to, as far as I know, all of their plants uh, starts are organic. So, oh my gosh, this. It's like a, it's like a midget. It's like, uh, it reminds me like a little shrimp or something like that. It's like a sea monkey equivalent for a carrot, a little brine shrimp. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's a bigger one. We're almost out of plants here. So I think I'm going to make like, since I have so many carrots, like, and I, I'm not actually a rabbit. Um, I think I'll probably make a chicken and rice soup with carrots. 
I don't really like carrots. I mean, I like them raw, and I don't really like them cooked. But if you don't overcook them, they're not too bad. And the rest, if the rest of your soup tastes really good, um, it kind of covers up for the fact that it's a carrot. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like the size of my pinky nail. This is so ridiculous. <sighs> That's cute. Little baby carrot. All right, another one. Little tiny, little tiny one. I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe these need to all be grown in the alley next time. This was kind of an experiment to see. I've grown carrots in containers before. But um, the ones out in the alley that actually had more sun did better, I think, for sure. Obviously, size-wise. They were bigger. I don't know. You can check my older videos. And uh, I think it's my last gardening video where I actually pulled the carrots from the, from the alley. But I actually have quite a container here of um, carrots for making a soup when you actually look at everything I pulled, but seriously, it took, you know, three months to, three months, four months, yeah, I think it was three months to, to accomplish this, so gardening is definitely an act of patience. Now I'm just stirring up to make sure I don't miss anything, because some of the greens have broken off. One thing about gardening is you have to be, not be worried about getting dirty, or be worried about bugs. So, all right, I think that's about, I think that's about it. So, anyway, uh, that is the culmination of this year's carrot experiment uh, between shade in a container and full sun in the alley garden. And um, I'm looking forward to this soup that I'm going to get from all these little carrots. As soon as I go inside, I'm tearing all the greens off. Actually, I might tear them off before I leave. Um, remember at the beginning I said that these were starting to pale because they were starting to die. The plant is the part that is trying to live, and, um, and many of plant, many of the vegetables we eat, we are actually eating the plant part. But in this case, we're actually eating the root. So the root is drawing, um, the plant is drawing energy out of the root uh, to survive. And um, once it, the carrot is picked and it's no longer growing, you want to tear the green uh, plant part off and compost it, just throwing it into the lawn, um, because that way the nutrition and goodness won't be sucked further out of the root to keep the plant alive, because we don't care about the plant, because we're not, we're not eating the plant, we're only eating the root. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to tear off all these little carrot tops and throw them in the yard. Uh, we have a landscaping surface that comes um, every two weeks, and they pretty much just mow it. So what will happen was that this, this green will be dead by then, actually. Birds will come and pick at it. And um, and then it'll, whatever's left will get chopped up. And then we'll just be able to buy uh, finish biodegrading into the, the... I call It's grass, but it's lawn, but it's not grass. It's weed, it's like crabgrass and weed, some weeds. Um, so, but anyway, the, the breaking down of the carrot uh, top creates uh, nitrogen in the soil, you know, it adds nitrogen back into the soil, so anyway, so I'm going to have fun just like throwing throwing carrot, carrot tops into the yard, and then um, maybe I'll share my soup uh, later. Alright, have a great weekend. Bye.